Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make this short follow-up to my last video about nano bed leveling to show kind of a more quick and dirty method of accomplishing the same thing. In my nano bed leveling video, I showed how to set up auto bed leveling with soldering in a cheap affordable Arduino Nano, but if you're not a fan of soldering or you just want a really simple way to accomplish the same thing, you can use something like an Arduino Uno, which already has power built into the board. The Uno isn't as cheap as a Nano, but there are most likely already cases out there for it in case you're not a fan of exposed electronics sitting next to your printer. This method requires no soldering, but you'll still want some DuPont connectors to hook the sensor up to your Arduino, and you'll need some male-to-male -male Arduino jumper wires to connect from the Arduino to the Z end stop. You can actually get away with using some of those jumper wires cut in half to just splice into the sensor wires if you don't feel like using DuPont connectors. First, you'll want to download the Nano Bed Leveling sketches from the link in the description below and upload the sketch Nano Bed Leveling 2 Pin A to your Uno. Just follow the steps from the last video, but instead of selecting the Nano from the boards menu, you'll select the Uno, or whatever Arduino you decide to use. Next, you'll want to connect the brown wire from the sensor to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino, connect the blue wire to the ground pin, and connect the black wire to D10 on your Arduino. If you don't want to bother with crimping DuPont connector pins, you can cut some of the jumper wires and splice them into the wires coming from the sensor instead. Next, take two male-to-male -male jumper wires and plug them into pins D2 and D3 on the Arduino, and plug the other two ends into the outer two pins of the Z end stop. Now plug in your Arduino and grab something metal like pliers and move it up near the end of your sensor. If the Arduino is supplying it enough power, you should see the little light come on top of the sensor to let you know it triggered. I haven't had any problems with getting the sensor to work by using just the 5 volts power straight from the Arduino, but I can't guarantee that the Arduino will be able to supply enough power to make a reliable sensor in the long run or even at all. So you may want to consider running power from the power supply to the sensor regardless. Next, if you already have firmware set up for auto bed leveling, go into your firmware and select auto bed leveling to test it. If it tries to home and the nozzle raises but doesn't lower towards the bed, then your wires from D2 and D3 to the end stop may be reversed. Just swap D2 and D3, then try again. I've had some complaints since uploading my last video that I'm overcomplicating the process by using Arduinos because all it takes is a few resistors, and I get that. I'm not an electrical engineer or anything more than a hobbyist. I'm sure there are plenty of better ways to accomplish what I'm doing, but I'm just showing one way to make an auto bed leveling sensor that's worked for me. Anyway, this was just a quick video to point out that you don't have to jump through all of the hoops that I did for the nano bed leveling sensor. That was just a quick affordable way to add bed leveling that has been reliable for me so far. If this video was at all helpful to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button, or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my last video where I described making an auto bed leveling system using an Arduino Nano. There are some GearBest affiliate links in the video description if you want to help support the channel, and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.